statement. If you really say that we need this wall to protect us, to protect American lives, then you, you would be consistent with how you describe this wall. You would be consistent as to the benefits of this wall. Like he hasn't even been able to sell the idea to the American public. And I think when you look at the numbers that you threw up there, that's abundantly clear that people aren't buying this. Why? Because they know that this wall is not going to keep us safe. In this past week, we've had three mass shootings. He has not even mentioned that. So if you really care about American lives, why aren't you talking about these mass shootings? You know, there's so many people who are dying from gun, you know, from the lack of gun control and those kinds of things. And he's missing the mark. He's missing the opportunity to do that. So if this is really an emergency, and we know it isn't, right? Because we've gone without this wall for the past two years when the Republicans had the, uh, the House and could have voted for it. And now we went through a shutdown for 35 days, which was completely a waste of time. People mm. suffered needlessly. Lord and Midwin, Kevin talks about the severity, how he regards the severity of this. He seemed like somebody not reckon, reckoning at all with the potential severity of what's happening. I, I mean, it's a circus, you know, and I, I have said this and I've been saying this for the past two years. Elect the clown, expect a circus. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, you know, he's thumbing his nose uh, at, at, you know, law and, and order and this entire process. Um, and it's, it's just astonishing that this is where we are um, as America, right? I mean, every single day or, I mean, now, forget TGIF, right? Fridays now mean indictment Fridays. It's no longer fun. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, but you know, we now have close uh, uh, people to the president who are being indicted and being accused of very serious crimes, lying to Congress, uh, misleading the FBI, and all of it centers around the campaign. All of it centers around assisting Russia uh, to elect Donald Trump and to hurt Hillary Clinton. And so the role that he played in that in terms of his relationship with WikiLeaks is something that we are going to find out more and more again.